Okay, so to basically do this problem, you're just going to need a calculator, scratch piece of paper, a pencil, or a writing utensil of any sort. I'm just going to start off with just converting the gram strengths because all of our medications are in grams. So if you ever came across a problem where you needed 50 grams out of how many or whatever milligrams, then you would know how to convert this. Now right here, I have the step method. I told you I'm very kinesthetic and this works for me. And again, I told you I'm gonna be doing this the long way and if you can find shortcuts in between, that's great. It's just, this is my method. My husband seems to think that I'm the only person that comes up with this theme, but it has worked when I teach before, when I taught before. <laughs> so this is kilogram, this is gram, this is milligram, and this is microgram. And so basically, if you have converted them properly, they will all equal out the same. If you're going to be going upstairs, you're going to be dividing by 1,000. And if you go downstairs, you'll be multiplying by 1,000. So, for instance, let's just say you were asked how many micrograms are in 500 milligrams. Just how many? Well, we would start here at the milligram strength, and then we would step down, which means we just have this 500 here, and then we multiply down one by 1,000. That would leave us with 500 times 1,000 equals 500,000. That would be your answer. They are the same comparable. Now, if someone had told you, well, how many grams are in 500 milligrams? Well, you basically would just get the 500 here at the milligram point. You're going to be going upstairs, which means you'll be dividing by 1,000. So you have 500 divided by 1,000. 500 divided by 1,000, if you use your calculator, is 0 0.5 grams. And this basically means that 0 0.5 grams is the same as 500,000 micrograms. So they're all the same across the board. Now, again, if a person goes, well, how many kilograms are in 500 milligrams? Well, again, we started off here. We divided by 1,000 and we got 0 0.5. And we're going to hit the divide button again by 1,000 again, because we're going up another step. And that would just leave us with 0 0.0005. So if anyone asks, how many, how, basically, how, what is it? 500,000 milligrams is how many kilograms? You would just basically say it's 0 0.0005 kilograms. How many kilograms are in 500 milligrams? 0 0.005. It's all the same across the board. You have to remember to properly calibrate them. I'd say if you know how to cross multiply and divide, then you can practically do any math problem whatsoever. And that's actually a really good thing. So. Now I can rewind this if I'm going a bit too fast. So we basically had a problem that was 993,074 milligrams. How many grams is it? That would basically be the question. Basically, you would remember you'd start here, and that would be. Let's see here. 
that would be 9304074 divided by 1000. And that just leaves us with 93.074. So let's say a client had ordered, let me try to erase this. So let's see if a client had ordered 2.5. All we actually have in the pharmacy is only 500 milligram tablets. The question is basically how many tablets would you give the client because they're asking for 2.5 grams. And what we basically know is we have 500 milligram tablets. That's basically saying that each tablet is 500 milligrams. Well, we're going to line this up. This is the cross, multiply, and divide thing that I'm telling you about. 2.5 grams, we're starting off here. We should basically convert that into milligrams so it can line up. It would be pointless for you to line up 500 milligrams to a gram because they're not the same. You have to do milligram to milligram, tablet to tablet, fluid to fluid, it has to be the same across the board to get the answer that you want. So the question is, how many tablets? So, you get that 2.5, and we're going to multiply it by 1,000. So we start off here at 2.5, we're stepping down, so we'll multiply that by 1,000, and that leaves us with 2,500 milligrams. So this is the same as this, 2.5 grams is the same as 2,500 milligrams. Now to get the answer, because we still haven't really answered the question, they want to know how many tablets are we actually going to give the person. So, I suggest you cross multiply the 2500 to one tablet and divide to 500. And that leaves you with just giving that patient five tablets. Just five tablets. That's all. But yes, that's the way I do math. Again, if you have any other method better than this, more power to you. I think the most problem that I see is, is that people don't know how to set up their problems. And so that's where the anxiety kicks in and you don't know what to do and you don't want to look stupid. And yeah, um, better safe than sorry. You, again, some people don't want to seem like they're incompetent, but you know, it's whatever's best for the patient. If you have to really second guess what you're doing, I suggest you just don't do it. So it's not really that hard. It's just if you can master these steps, they will all equal out the same so that you can properly convert them. And without this formula, I've had a lot of my students, the first thing they do when they get their PTCB exam is set up the stairs. I know it's really silly and it's like a, a fifth grade thing, but it works. I, I would never change the way I do this. I have people that have been professionals in many years and they just never, you know, worked very well with math. And due to me having to set up everything this way or just basically doing it in, you know, fraction form, it actually helps. So if this method does not work for you, I'd say, you know, just stick to what you're used to because again, we all learn at different paces and I try my best to make people understand because 
you know, I am a teacher, so it's sort of like second nature to me to be that patient. So if you have any questions or you have like a problem that you'd like me to see if I could, you know, you know, pretty much answer, I wouldn't mind so. It's something I like to do. So I hope you enjoyed this whole little segment and we'll see what we'll do next. Probably flow rates, probably like conversion of um, fluids, milliliters. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you can master this and if you can cross multiply and divide, you could do anything. It doesn't even have to be about, you know, pharmacy. You know, some people have a very complicated time clock where they clock in and clock out at their own job. And they're like, okay, well, I clock back in at, you know, let's say 145, okay? So basically, we know for sure because, you know, some timesheets does not take that 30 minutes. You have to do like 0.5, you know? So obviously, we already know that 0.5 is 30 minutes and you came in at let's say mm, 1145 you, you got the 11 part so as long as you can convert that you know 45 then you know what that answer is when you you know set up your timesheet so that the accountant can properly you know pay you as 0.75. So whenever you get your timesheet, you set up your hours, you, you count them, you calculate them, you're going to be calculating in this type of method because it's easy for them to add or subtract your hours. It's an everyday thing. I cannot, you know, pretty much stress that this is, if you can cross multiply and divide, basically it is key. You just have to make sure that these line up properly. It would make no sense for you to put 30 minutes here and 45 seconds. It has to be the same amount, the same value on each end. All right, well, this is my little short segment, and we'll see how this goes. And I hope I'm able to help you with my little problem here. So have a good one. Thanks.